everybody. Here we are again for some more drawing on the Draw Along Show. Hope you brought a pencil or a pen or a stick or a marker or a crayon or maybe just a big chunk of charcoal you pulled out of the fireplace that you can draw all over the wall with. It doesn't matter to me. And today we're going to draw something very interesting. It lives under water. And it's going to be one of these drawings that we do on a very rare occasion where we use mostly curvilinear lines. Ooh, how scary. A lot of times we use straight lines and zigzags and the curvilinear lines can be a little bit tricky, a little bit fishy. Sorry for the pun there. Uh, but we're gonna get through it together and we're gonna be just fine. Don't you worry about it. You know, um, it's great to be an artist. It's something a lot of people aspire to be. And when I was a kid, you know, my mom and dad said, son, you can be anybody you want. Uh, but it turns out identity theft is a crime. Okay, so why don't we get to some drawing now. I'll say hi to some folks in the chat and see who's here today. Alrighty, you brought your pencils, says Clever. Excellent. Hi Misty, hi Christine, hi Mercurial, hi Sam, hi Steven, hi Viola, hi RB. Nice to see you all. Okay, are you ready to get cracking with some drawing? Well, you're gonna have to be able to do three simple things as usual. Straight line, although very few of those today, as I mentioned up front, a zigzag. <laughs> and a curvilinear line. All right, now that could be a C curve, right? It could be a long one, could be a short one. You get the idea. Today, our drawing is full of curvilinear lines. Pretty scary stuff, okay? But I think we can all get through it if we work together and we'll just go step by step as we always do. You're gonna to wanna to leave your, yourself a lot of room vertically for this drawing. So think about that, okay? A lot of space vertically for this drawing. All right, now, with that said, here we go. I'm going to start with a V that is broken at the bottom. Check this out. I'm going to go down like this, okay? And then right next to it, I'm not going to connect these two. Right next to it, I'm going to go up at the opposite angle, like that. That's how we start our drawing, okay? See that? Okie dokie. Now, we are going to come up in the same way towards the top, okay? Check it out. Come up. And I stop a little bit and then I come up this away and I stop like that. That is the beginning of our drawing. Interesting start, an interesting start. Doesn't look like anything we've ever done in the past, I don't believe. Now, here's where the curvilinear lines begin and they pretty much don't stop folks until we're done with our drawing. We are going to take this line that we've just drawn. Imagine it's going to continue, carry okay, right up to the top right here. And I'm gonna make a little mark so I know what I'm aiming for. See that? And it's in the center of our drawing. I'm going to come up and over to meet it. Now here I'm going to do the same thing. Up and over to meet it. Up and over to meet it. And now with these two lines that we drew, okay, we're actually going to do the same thing in the opposite direction, only we're going to go further down and we're actually going to turn them into a bit of a diagonal, okay? They're gonna round out and then straighten out a little bit and hit about here. So if you wanna give yourself another target to aim for, you can do so, but you could just simply draw it as well if you want, stop right about there. Curving out slightly and stopping about there. That is the next step for the drawing. So we come out and down and out and down. All right, now I want you to make yourself a little dot See how uh, these are lined up like this? Come a little lower, about here, in the center of our, of our drawing again, right there. That's the next step. Because this is gonna be another target, all right? Or, in fact, you know what's even easier? So you can start from there and curve up with a C curve to meet here. Check it out. We're gonna curve up and over. And then over here, up and over. Ta-da! Alrighty, sliding up now. Just check it out. Everybody make sure your shapes match more or less. Remember, these drawings are all gonna be different from one another, and that's fine, okay? It's your drawing. If some of the proportions are slightly different, it doesn't mean anything is wrong with your drawing. It just means your drawing looks a little different, but at the end, it's still gonna look like the thing that we're trying to draw. That's the great thing about these drawings, right? If the lines are a little different here or there, you still wind up with something that works. Now I'm gonna come inside of this line just a hair and I'm gonna do a very shallow S-curve. Very shallow, watch what I mean. 
down and in and out. See how shallow that is? So it's not like this. It's like that, okay? Big difference. Mirror that on the other side. We're kind of reversing it, right? Down and in. Just like that. Big C curve about to come over here on the left. It's going to come all the way up and in. It's not going to touch this line, though. Check it out. Up and in. Same on this side. Big, 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 big. Alrighty. And inside of that, guess what we have? Another C curve. Same thing as Slidini says. Same thing. Same thing. And we just color those in. Just color those in. Color them in. <gasps> I think we all know what we're drawing now, don't you? Come on, gang. We all know what this is. Let's zoom out. Get a good look at our friend here. Okay. Now, here is the trick to drawing the legs of a squid. To make things easy, check it out. I'm gonna just draw a line in between these two, right in the center, just a little one, like that. Okay? And then a little closer to the edge here, I'm gonna draw another one, boop, like that, and over on this side. Up, up. See that? You say, but Kyle, Squid has eight legs and two tentacles. And I say, but don't you worry. I'm going to show you how we handle this. So with these first two legs in the middle, watch what we do. We take this line right here, and you can draw this in any direction you like. Any direction you like, okay? But it's a big S curve or a big C curve. That's the only stipulation. Check it out. I'm going to go C curve out this way. Look at that. And I can come down to meet it. Or I can come up like this to join up right there. This is gonna take some control. Be patient with yourselves, okay? Be patient, you can do it. If they're a little wonky, a little wobbly, well, that's okay because, you know, that's what squid's arms look like. So it's not a big deal. This one, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna come down that way, like a little S. And then here, I'm gonna let it poke out like that, okay? You don't have to do that. You can do another direction if you want. But those first two legs we draw on the front, now we have two on the outside. I could do this, and I could look at just, check this out, I'm gonna go behind that one. See how fancy we're getting here? Like that. What do you think about that? I think I'll do kind of something similar on this side. Woo, whoop. You get all wavy with these if you want, right? Check it out, check it out. Okay, now we've drawn four. Well, here's the beauty, right? Now all we have to do is tuck some other legs back behind there. So from over here, for example, I could just have one coming out like that. Okay. And then between over here, just have another one kind of coming down this way and just kind of make it do that. Like that. Maybe do this one this way. Zoink. All right. Uh, and I think over here, I'll come over and behind and out like that. And all of a sudden, I've drawn four more legs, and it looks like the legs are going all the way around, right? Not just sticking out the sides of our squid friend. And there you have it. There you have the eight legs. Now, what about the two tentacles? Not to worry. This is how we do it. We're just going to take a line anywhere you like. It could be right back here, for example, right? You're just going to make a line, and you're going to carry that line out longer. It's going to come longer. Sorry about that. There you go. Longer than the arms, okay? And at the end of it, you just do a little C-curve like this. Kablam, okay? So you're gonna use those, those hooked, those hooked uh, sections there of that little foot, if you wanna call it that, to grab onto its prey, right? Now you need another one of those. Where do you wanna put it? Eh, it could come out this way. Let's tuck it up behind this leg here. Maybe have it come up that, who, who knows? You know, it could curve around that way. Up to you. It's your squid. It's your squid. Now you see why I wanted you to do this vertically, right? Because woof, that really stretches. Now the final touch, check this out. I'm just gonna draw a line like this and then a little dot. And that just kind of shows like a reflection. You know? It's kind of like showing you, hey, it's got a little sheen to it. Now, of course, this is a great opportunity for all of you to customize this drawing and make it your own. You want to add some little suckers on those arms, you can do that. Right? You want to put some fish swimming around, 
you can do that, right? Maybe it's uh, gonna be sitting on top of a boat. Maybe it's an enormous squid like from Jules Verne. Uh, you know, up to you. And hey gang, if you wanna get really fancy, you know that trick we can do with highlights in the eyes, right? You could erase away a little chunk like that. A little chunk like that. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Something to keep in mind. There is our squid. What do you think about that? How'd that work out for you? Let's see. Um, who drew a goatee on their squid? That's nuts. Somebody drew a goatee on their squid. Somebody drew an evil squid. Cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, the early guesses are funny. We had a goldfish from above. Uh, alien. Super tall jousting hat. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Baboon, mandrel's nose. I like it. Okay, gang. Now, we're going to move on to art vocab. Art vocab for today. And today's art vocab is the freeze. Ba -bow. Now, what is a freeze? Well, it says it right here. A broad horizontal band of sculpted or painted decoration, especially on a wall near the ceiling. Yes, I have seen a few freezes in my lifetime. But what I wanted to show you today was this lovely relief sculpture here, the Parthenon frieze, okay? And this is just part of it, by the way. It goes all the way around uh, the Parthenon. Parthenon, of course, in Greece at the Acropolis, Athens. Um, you can't get very close to it anymore these days, thanks to some nasty vandals, you know, they were stealing little bits of it and putting graffiti on it and whatnot. But you can still get fairly close. You can get, you know, a few meters away from it, stand there and admire it. Um, and uh, this little section right here uh, is really cool. These are the, the uh, this is the cavalry. And um, you have to keep in mind that these were done 400 years before the year zero. Holy smokes. Okay, we are talking a long time ago. And look at the quality of uh, the work here, the understanding of anatomy, um, and uh, just incredible that artists all the way back then had already figured all this stuff out that even today we're still struggling with and trying to figure out. I'll show you another little section here. There we go. And I believe this is on the west wall. Not totally sure. Uh, look at the fantastic drapery here. Look at how they sculpted that drapery. All right, this is, holy cow, we're talking over 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, look at this work. Phenomenal, phenomenal sculpting. Okay, you'll notice with a frieze too that it is not a sculpture in the round, right? It's not fully three-dimensional in that it's, it, what I mean is you can't see anything beyond sort of a few uh, inches or maybe six or seven inches for a sculpture this size protruding from a flat surface. A really interesting way to work. And you'll see this kind of sculpture also on um, doors sometimes, right? Not just on walls and, and whatnot, but uh, very common in architecture. Lovely to look at. Freeze is the word. Note the spelling. Not the same as freeze when you're cold, is it? No, it is not. It is not the same. Uh, Okie dokie. So uh, let me know what you think about freezes. Have any of you ever been to a place where you saw a freeze? What did it look like? Uh, tell me, you know, I want to see. Anybody seen any cool freezes? Tell me about your experiences with the old freeze. I want to know. I want to know. Let's see, we have uh, a year zero. Was there a year zero? <laughs> Clever, that's a very good point. You're right, there wasn't. Um, I guess not. One is round, one is rectangular. How could you get them confused? Oh, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about there, gang. Do not know, do not know. Um, all right, well, now you know that I love to draw things that you suggest, and so it is time for the animal and activity game where you will please suggest to me an animal doing something funny, unexpected, something strange, something weird, and then I'll draw it for you. And that's how we like to close out the show. It's always a challenge for me, and you all are very creative people, so you can come up with something funny, something interesting, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty. So, I'll hide my little art vocab. Let's bring our little squid friend back so we can take a look at our squid. It's hanging out there and I'll get my light blue so that I'm ready to sketch your idea and then I will take it to a final illustration in the time that we have remaining which is about nine ten minutes or so which is for me quite a long bit of time to do something on this show 
And those of you who've seen it before know that this is the case, right? So we have a toucan bowling. Sherry, I love that idea. I love that idea. That might be the winner right there. A rabbit painting a fresco, an ox teaching a lecture. Um, is the Disney building in Burbank with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs a freeze? Great question. Misty, I've seen that building. Um, and I can't remember if those dwarves were full three-dimensional sculptures sitting outside of the wall or were a freeze. That's a great question. Great question. A dodo bird floating in an inner tube. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny too. Clever. I like that. I like that. Um, all right. Thinking here. I'm thinking. So far, that toucan is kind of winning out for me. I really like that idea. I think it's it's very clever, very clever. What? Oh, speaking of clever, clever, got a little appreciation station for you today. And I just want to take you back to that time when we went scuba diving and found that treasure, that sunken uh, pirate ship that one time. That was amazing. And I had a little tussle with a giant squid. You might remember this. And you were so clever because you grabbed that ruby necklace out of the uh, treasure and you lured the squid away from me with that necklace and the squid put the necklace on looked great on the squid and swam away very happy nobody got hurt so i want to thank you for that who knew squid like jewelry great time there so thanks for your quick thinking on that one all right so i think it's time for us to get back to our drawing and uh let's see we also have a rabbit speed skating, an eel climbing a ladder, and a squid kitty fighting a dormouse. Crazy suggestions. Um, I love them all. Keep them all in your mind. Um, I'm really stuck on this toucan idea, so I'm just going to go for it. A toucan bowling. Toucan bowling. All right, so let's do it. So toucan. And there he goes. He's, he's going to be... And I have that one wing, wing out this way for the bowling action. And the other one, the balance out that way. Got to get that nice cross step, right? It's stepping forward. Oh, wait, we got to get bowling shoes. What am I doing? Got to have bowling shoes on. They don't let you bowl without bowling shoes. So of course you gotta throw that bowling shoe on there. Check it out. That other leg has gotta be tucked back there. That looks really funny, doesn't it? It's a crazy look. Okay, and then throw that tail back. I kind of want to make him sort of stick his head out a little further like this. I think that's going to be a better angle, so I'll just kind of race that away. I like that better. There. What do you think about that? How's that for a sketch? That works for me. And we got to put that bowling ball is going to be right there let's get that arm with a bit more bit more of a swoop up and over like that that's a better look there Hard to sort of figure out feathers, you know. I'm gonna always think, what am I doing with feathers? How's the hell those gonna look? All right, and there we go. There is our toucan. Why don't we knock that back? Okay. Grab our darker color, and now we go for the line work. Okay. There is that big old beak. Okay. 
Feathers everywhere. Feathers everywhere. Actually, let's do a little bit more. There we go. One leg there, the other leg stretched back into that crazy bowling shoe. Kind of a tough, whoops, tough angle on that shoe. Why, why did I do that to myself? Why make it harder, Kyle? I live for the challenge. All right, let's get that other shoe. Whoa, up and over. That's, that's more like it, come on. All righty. And let's get this wing swooping back. Swooping out and back. This is a very skilled toucan bowler. You know I like the puns. Throw out some puns here. What's what's a good pun for the toucan bowler's name? Or just a clever name in general for this toucan who likes to bowl. Woo! Check it out. Action lines. We love them. Oh boy, I gotta be able to do a better, there we go, better bowling ball than that. Still not a great, uh... not a great circle, but I'll take it, good enough. Oh, look at him, he's so happy. Probably about to bowl a Steerike. Let us hide for a moment uh, that sketch and see how this is going. Yeah, I like it, gang, I like it, hey. Another clever, fun idea. Um, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. You know, we almost never have time for this, but why not just throw a little color in? Why not? Kind of ahead of schedule today? It never happens, never, never happens. Such a rare thing. But uh, I'm kind of feeling like overconfident today. I'm running a real risk here trying to add some, some color to this, but you know. Sometimes you gotta just throw caution to the wind, right? Sometimes you gotta be crazy. Woo, let's go darker. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Throw some funny colors in there and make it nice and... Nice colorful beak. Woo, I like it. Okay. Very rare, we, we almost never do that, folks. But today is just, I don't know, the drawing kind of went smoothly, so we went zippy, we went fast, and we uh, we tried to make the most of it, tried to do something kind of fun there. Um, well, alrighty, I hope you all enjoyed that. Clean up a little bit of that right there, one, two. Um, the beauty of working digitally, right? Why don't you all try and draw a toucan? We actually did a toucan, if you look it up, uh, these are archived on YouTube. Go ahead and look up on YouTube. Draw along with Kyle. Toucan. And you will find it. And I know you'll enjoy it. It's a fun one. It's a draw along. So you can all just follow along step by step. And you can draw that toucan. And uh, in the meantime, I want to say thank you to everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun one for me. Um, another cool undersea creature. And we'll be back again tomorrow at the same time. 5.30 p.m. Eastern. And I hope you will tell somebody you love to watch the show and come along and draw with us so we can get more people drawing, especially kids. I really want kids to draw on this show. 
because it's a step-by-step -step thing and we get a drawing done in about 10 minutes and uh, that's just great because it builds confidence in drawing. Um, when they look at that paper and they say, hey, I did that. I did that in just a few minutes and they can draw it again. They can repeat it. They can pause the video if you want to watch it on replay. And uh, that's a good thing for everybody. So confidence in drawing. I like it. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thanks again for hanging out with me and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now. Thank you.